All right, guys, we are headed to the track, uh, Harney Raceway Park. We're gonna grab some breakfast and head up there. Uh, it's pretty foggy this morning, a little bit of moisture in the air, so the density altitude is really good. Should have our fastest pass hopefully today. We'll just have to get the track ready for it. So uh, I'm not in a huge rush to get there, but definitely want to get there so we can uh, make a pass right away first thing this morning as soon as the track goes live. So hopefully each of us can get a few passes in today. So welcome to day five of Rocky Mountain Race Week. We'll see you guys at the track. Woo, we made it. Carney Raceway Park is up here and we're gonna get unloaded. Get ready to make some passes today. Looks like a bunch of cars made it. Everybody's getting ready today. We'll see all the cars here. Look at her go, pulling everything off, switching the tires, get ready to go racing. <laughs> All right, everyone, so I headed up here early, got the car number two in line for our class. Uh, we're gonna try to make some passes today, so hopefully we can learn a little more on the car. Plus, it's probably the best air we'll have in Clyde for a while, uh, as far as making passes, so hopefully we can make as fast pass ever here. And then, I don't know how we'll beat it at home, probably have to modify the car or something. But as far as just good air, it'll probably happen here. Um, so I'm gonna make a hit, come back around, put it right back in lanes, April can make a hit, and then maybe we'll start messing with trying to uh, adjust some of the torque management again. I'm curious what the exact same tune-up in Denver will do here. So everybody's starting to pull into the lanes now. Uh, so hopefully we'll at least get a hit right away. And then if we want, we can get out of here by a decent time. elevation makes holy cow 1250 at 110 mile an hour so picked up a full second from Denver so I'm in a 13 0 class off to uh, run it out and lift on the next pass and try to slow down by half a second but gonna go up here figure out where April needs to go to get in line um, so she can do our next pass we got to get her in line because I make mine and then she makes her first pass so we're trying to uh, get her through so everybody can make their first and then Matt has everybody make their second or whatever. All right guys, we'll see how April does.
and then just kind of cut about a half a second and then got back in it and then lifted just a little early. So hopefully it went a low 13. Um, first time really I'm guessing it having, trying to guess how to pull half a second off of it to be in her class. So hopefully she got a good slip and I'll try to make another one to get a good slip and then we should be good. I mean, the car made a heck of a pass, went 1250 at 110. I can't believe it picked up a whole second. I mean, I, I knew it'd be a lot better, but we're still at 3000 feet DA. So really actually pretty strong for this little thing. Um, but we'll see how she did. We'll see what her slip looked like. Uh, the car spun a little bit on the hit too. Definitely makes a lot more power down here. So pretty fun, it's humid. <laughs> so uh, it's cool you actually drive back along the track here and then you go under this little deal and get your slip right here back by the starting line. Let's see what she did. Thirteen two eight at ninety four. So that's a good slip for her to be able to turn in. Went a one ninety four sixty foot on hers, and on mine, I went a one eighty seven. So yeah, she definitely spun a little bit, but that ended up being a good. That's a good slip that'll help her week average out by a lot there. So um, yeah, doing good, babe. Thanks. <laughs> everyone so that is it for today Kearney Raceway Park we are headed to Julesburg so I might throw some drive in there but uh, otherwise here at the track April ended up going at 13 27 no, 13. 28 and I went at 27 uh, so it's gonna be an extremely close average between us um, but biggest highlight of the day is Clyde ended up going 1250 at 110 miles an hour which is crazy impressive for a 100% stock engine still not really tuning on it um, just driving it so we're loaded back up the pack mule aka uh, that Doug likes to call it so we're loaded up on the road to the last different track in Julesburg and then we'll have one final day in Pueblo uh, so we got about I think a three-ish hour drive um, the weather is looking much better than rain so we should be good to go uh, windows down let everything dry out on the drive to the first checkpoint this little house here in this little park, a little historic deal. So we gotta take our picture and we'll get back on the road. All right guys, so we made it at uh, this railroad stop, kind of cool. Little train display here. Looks like the end of the railroad, Union Pacific. So that'd be pretty neat. I guess you can go check it out uh, during the day, but they're closed right now. So we're gonna get back on the road. Got some other cars pulling in behind us. So we're gonna get out of here, keep rolling. Final checkpoint for the night here in Ogallala or something like that in Nebraska. So, Clyde's doing pretty good, making decent headway. I mean, with the 6L80 and the engine, I mean, 20 whatever miles to the gallon and being able to do 70 mile an hour if we want is freaking awesome. Uh, check out this old little, old little town thing. I guess there's a steakhouse here and like a bar saloon thing or whatever. So, this is a pretty, pretty sweet uh, little checkpoint here in this little town. So we're gonna walk around, check it out for a minute, and then uh, get back on the road. So some killer views there with the uh, sunsets and everything, driving in here, finishing out this leg of the trip. We're in Blue Springs, Nebraska right now. We got about 15 minutes, I believe, till Julesburg, but not a lot of hotels there. So we are staying here. I'm gonna finish out the drive to the track in the morning. Uh, so that will be it for today, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Good day at the track. Clyde's fastest pass ever, and probably fast pass for a little while since we're down at altitude here. 
Um, we'll see how he does tomorrow in Julesburg, and then we'll have to leave Julesburg and head back to Pueblo. So make sure you guys stick around to check out that video. Please like, subscribe, and share, and we'll see you guys next time.